And we're going to open it up with a tough, rugged veteran out of Philadelphia, now living in Los Angeles, Gabriel Rosado against Tijuana's own Antonio Gutierrez. Right back into the title picture because he's already, he's already got a name for himself. He's already fought so many top middleweights. You mentioned the middleweight that he has fought. Triple G, of course. Jamel Charlo, David Lemieux. Kid Chocolate, Peter Quillen. Kid Chocolate, Peter Quillen. He All back to back, too. He fought those guys in 2013 and 2014. Back to back to back. In Carson, California, Bethel Duran along with Doug Fisher. It was, should be a good matchup as Gabriel Rosado in the blue and yellow. Yes, the colors of the LA Rams, his new adopted city of Los Angeles. Said, of course, I got to come out here because in Rams colors. They're coming out to Los Angeles. I did the same. That's the reason we're in the blue and yellow. Tony Gutierrez, 21 and one. What's the view of Rosado in the middleweight division? I think right now, I mean, people define him as a middleweight veteran. He's not a top 10 or top 10 contender right now. He's, he, he's looked at as a gatekeeper. That's why he's in there fighting a young up and comer like Gutierrez, a guy who's just 22 years old. They view him as a test, and if he if he beats Gutierrez, I mean, basically, he, he proves that he is, he's one of those gatekeepers that earns that title. But if he keeps winning, he gets back into the stop, rankings. Stop. He was just too green for that experience and for Angulo at that stage of Angulo's career, back when Pedro was a monster. But he comes to fight every single time. That's why fans like him, because of his style. And he's been in the position of Gutierrez before he was viewed as that young up and coming. Just a nice right hand from Gutierrez, though. Gutierrez from Tijuana has power in that right hand. His most recent fight was the Palasco Theater in downtown Los Angeles on the night of the LA Fight Club. And Gutierrez stopped Alejandro Alonso in the third round KO. Alonso, a tough Mexican fighter. Change of size, the change of routine, paying off of the 22 year old from Tijuana. That's just the difference in it, but he loves the progression. As Fernando said, I'm having so much fun as a trainer with him because they're on the same page. They have a good routine. Rosado able to live Gutierrez. Rosado looks fresh compared to his last couple fights. Yeah, he's had, he's had time off, his body's ha had time to heal and get used to a new training regimen, new training system with, with El Feroz. And if you saw the movie Creed, yes, work, that work, is work, him work, who played work, Leo work, the Lion Sporino. He did a good job. Take a step yep, did a good job. Like a really hasn't been had any of the in his career. Body work from Lozado. Good little change. change. Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, Los. <laughs> a swing late, Ray Corona right there holding him back. So, um, I scored the first round for Gutierrez. I thought he was just the busier of the two. And down Boom. goes Rosado. A left from the Tijuana fighter drops Rosado. He has that smirk on his face like. As I was saying, I scored the opening round for Gutierrez and rounds two and three for Rosado. But both of those rounds were very competitive. And I thought that round two could have gone either way, to be quite honest. Another one landed by Gutierrez. This time he digs to the body. Excellent round for Tony Gutierrez, a 22-year-old from Zona Norte, Tijuana. Is that a swing? Yeah, he's staying composed, but you see him taking these deep yep. breaths. He's feeling the physical strength of the younger man. And Rosado, the taller fighter, has a couple shots of his own here. Yeah, these are nice shots to the body, nice uppercuts and, and overhand rights. Left from Gutierrez, right from Rosado. Good scrap, good fight here. Gets the stub hub center crowd excited. And that's the bell for the fourth round. What a round. Hey, you need to move ahead after every combination, all right? Keep going to the point you're killing your body, but you need to move your head, all right? I don't want you boxing with your hands down. You need to with your hands up, all right? Take a deep breath. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's get a look at this knockdown. Was it a real knockdown or was it an off-balance knockdown? Beautiful left hook. May have stunned Rosado. A follow-up left hook. Rosado stumbles back. Kind of a delayed effect. And I like that he's working the young man's body. Yep. Staying calm is Rosado, the 30-year-old. Gutierrez. Gutierrez is showing some poise on the inside. He's 22. 
10 seconds to go. What's a very entertaining fight. Stub Hub Center starting to get that buzz going. Fun to watch, not easy to score. Intelligence and the ring experience to, to stick and move well, but once he started to feel the fatigue and once his opponent started landing on him enough, he said the heck with it, I'm gonna slug. Lozado's trying to slug here, loading up on that right. The Gutierrez a good defense, deflecting him. Body work from Lozado. On average, it seems like Rosado is landing the harder punches. He's trying to pace himself and, and, and pick, right. pick his spots. Yeah, I think, I think Rosado's winning this round. He's landing the heavier shots, he's loading up. He's doing it with harder punches, but he's also doing it with ring generalship. And he's also defending well on the inside now. He's blocking pretty well with his arms. How much is that going to take a toll on Rosado? Though? Good left from Rosado. Last couple rounds, he's landed that quick left hook. Overhand right from Rosado. And that knockdown was a bit of a wake-up call. Looks like uh, Rosado's dialed in, and he's um, getting into his rhythm. Rosado's very confident this week. At the media workout, people talking to him, Gutierrez off to the side. I don't even think Rosado even knew that that was his opponent. <laughs> I bet you he didn't. Because <laughs> they, they brought in all the fighters at the same time. They stagger the rates, but Gutierrez, being the youngster, doesn't re they didn't realize that you can show up when you have to, not early. You don't have to be there early. Big right cross lands from Gabe Rosado, and he follows it up with a left uppercut that may have uh, stunned or wobbled Gutierrez. Rosado gets out of the way of a follow-up left hook from Gutierrez. Yes. Seventh round, Gutierrez looked like he was, he was wearing down. Nice one, too, for Gutierrez, though. He's still game. He still wants this. So does Rosado. Rosado needs this. Right hand from Rosado. Work, work, guys. Yeah, he's following. He's definitely following. And he's, he's not <laughs> so now he's like, hey, man, I'm tired of following you. Why don't you just bring the fight to me? Can we do that? And if you're a Rosado, <laughs> you don't do that. <laughs> As much as you want to do that and you've done it in your career, don't because what you've been doing the last couple rounds is working for you. Gutierrez landing some shots here. This, this round could be up for grabs. Right from Rosado. Left from Rosado. Uppercut from Rosado. Good one two from Rosado. <laughs> Gutierrez, so let's go. It, it does. It, it, it really puts Gutierrez in this picture. This is a fight that it, it could be all even up. He could be ahead by a point. And we go to the 10th. He's been telling him the last couple of rounds, let's go, let's trade. Yeah. Left from Gutierrez. And I think both guys have earned each other's respect. Without a doubt. Earned the respect a lot of fans vote as Tony Gutierrez. Definitely earned the respect of Gabriel Rosado. Like I said, I think midway through this fight, win, lose, or draw, Gutierrez has earned some respect within the boxing community. People will, will pay, pay attention next time they see him in the ring. Oh, yeah. Uppercut from Rosado. Nice body work from Gutierrez. Not, not a real combination, more like an amateur shoe shine, but it does catch the attention of the judges. Seconds to go between Rosado and Gutierrez. Swinging for the fences. And they go the distance, 10 hard round. Fans stand up and cheer. And now we go to the judges' scorecards. First of all, Max DeLuca scores the fight, 95-94. Judge Dennis O'Connell sees his fight, 96-93. And then Judge David Mendoza scores the fight at 95-94. And you're a winner by unanimous decision. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Gabriel. Rosado! Good sportsmanship right there. Rosado bringing over Gutierrez. They respect each other. other. Yeah, they earned each other's respect.